What's up, y'all? Gerald here, creator of Gospel Chops and your host for this YouTube channel, back with another video. Now, I've been sitting here, y'all, for half the day, at least half the day, watching Funny Willis testify on the stand. And I've called her Fanny in the past, but I'm going to show her some respect. I'm going to put some respect on her name. She said her name is Fanny. She got on the stand with a bunch of attitude, with hell fire in her spirit, <laughs> and said, my name is Fonny Willis, the district attorney of Fulton County in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> but she saw her ex-boo on the stand, attorney Nathan Wade, getting roasted, getting cooked, y'all. <laughs> he was on that stand getting fried up like some of... Uh, Jim Clyburn's fish trying to substantiate some statements he made in the past in his divorce case that have now been laid before us prominently in the Donald Trump Rico case there in Georgia. This dude got roasted so bad that Funny Willis's attorneys were actually advocating for her not to testify in the case as she busted in the courtroom. Crazy. This was a fascinating show. Never seen anything like it. She busted in the courtroom and said, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I'm ready to testify. And you can see the look on her attorney's face as she was advocating on her behalf. Funny busted in the courtroom and said, nah, don't worry about it. Let me get up on the stand and tell my story. And this is where she went wrong. I don't know if y'all understand this, but Funny Willis stepped off into the deep side of the pool, stepped into the <laughs> stepped into the area where she was not qualified to operate. Shooting at the ex-president of the United States, some little Local Georgia, Fulton County, prosecutor? Girl, you done stepped off into deep waters in order to funnel money from the Georgia taxpayers to your boo in a situation where he can circulate that money around and throw it back to you in trips to Belize and trips to Miami and trips to California and all kinds of trips that are being described in your testimony. But here we are, y'all, with this woman busting into this courtroom and saying, I want to testify for myself. And I knew as soon as she came in that courtroom, if, yeah, look, y'all, let me just be honest. Can I be real with y'all for a second? If you know any black women in your life, any black mamas, any black aunties, any black sisters, when they get that look on their face, you should know straight up. They should not be representing themselves when they get in that zone. This woman was so mad. She was so hot. She was so combative that I knew that her taking a stand was going to be a problem. And it was. <laughs> it was. From start to finish. And they'll continue on in the questioning on tomorrow. But looking at her answers to these questions as they're probing her relationship with Nathan Wade and just looking into it and asking questions to say, when did it start? When did it end? What were the details of and the circumstances of the relationship? You just understand as you look at her responses that is, it's not cool. It's not good. Some of this testimony is cap. And if you understand <laughs> A law license like I understand it. You understand that that cat will get you disbarred. Not only get you thrown off the case, I think that's pretty much a given. And when you look at some of the things that the judge in this case has said, I think he understands and has already taken a position on this case. Other than getting thrown off the case, I think he's ready to. Throw the book at you for the disrespect and lack of candor to the court. When you get a law license and you pass that bar, you agree to an oath to be an officer of the court 
And this woman and even this man in this situation has shown something that is less than candid with the court. They've been disrespectful to the court, in my opinion. And I think in this judge's opinion, and we'll see when he writes his decision, I think he's going to give them the boot, y'all. I think he's going to throw them off the case. And we'll see if they get disbarred in the state of Georgia for the foolishness that they have participated in with regard to this case and funneling taxpayer dollars. This woman who shuffled money to her boyfriend and then took extravagant vacations all over the world based on the money that she shuffled to him. They have no rebuttal for those accusations. They have no response for those accusations. It's just, it's a mess. And I struggle to understand how someone in such a good position could use that position and access to put themselves in such a bad position. So many bad decisions were made in this context. And I feel for Fanny. Because <laughs> she may not just lose her law license. She may go to jail over this, y'all. These are serious accusations that she's trying to answer to in such a cavalier way. I don't understand it. I wish she hadn't done this. But here we are. Looking at the situation from a spectator standpoint and in my position, going down this road, understanding what all of this means in a courtroom context, I think that Fani is down bad. I think that Nathan is down bad. And they're going to have to ask themselves that a certain point, was that money worth it? Were the trips worth it? Clapping the cheeks, worth it, bruh. I don't know. That remains to be seen in that perspective. And that answer is in the eye of the beholder. Was it worth it? We'll see in the end. Y'all like this video. Subscribe to the channel and share the video so we can get more people involved in the conversation, y'all. And like I always say, always remember and never forget without the gospel. It's just chops. Until next time. Peace.